What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex back with yet another video for you guys. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, let's jump right into the topic of this video. Las Vegas Raiders are now one and two on the regular season. And let's just call it what it is. This game is the most Raiders thing this team could ever do only the Raiders could win a game like they did last week where everybody projected them to lose they got their back against the wall going against a talented roster in the Baltimore Ravens only the Raiders could get an upset victory like that and then come out the next week your home opener at Allegiant Stadium trying to get a winning record go two and one in the regular season and lose to the worst football team in the National Football League from a record standpoint from an offensive ranking standpoint, top to bottom, everybody was saying the Carolina Panthers were the worst team in football, and the Raiders absolutely got their ass whooped against the Panthers. An absolute embarrassing performance from this team, top to bottom. I gotta put the blame on everybody on this one. In the past, the offense has been the weakling of this team. And look, the offense still played like shit today. They still weren't able to move the football effectively. Gardner Minshew struggled. The offensive line couldn't open up anything in the run game. But at the same time, I have to call out this defense. This defense is supposed to be the strength of this team. This secondary, I mean, the Raiders defense against the pass is supposed to be the strength of this team. It has been the last few weeks. And we let backup quarterback Andy Dalton absolutely carve us up. Andy Dalton had over 200 yards and three passing touchdowns in the first half alone. And for whatever reason, the Raiders have this trend where whenever a backup quarterback makes their first start on the season against the Raiders, they end up absolutely torching us. And I honestly have no idea why this happens. I mean, in the past, I always kind of attributed it to the fact that we just had a bad defense. But this year, we do have a much better defense. And this sort of shit still happens to us. The Raiders are a team that play to the level of the competition that they're facing. And that's a huge problem for this team, for this franchise. And it's one of the biggest reasons why we've never been able to become a legit contender. The Raiders do not do a good job in terms of self-motivation. And just come and prepare to handle business against a team that you should theoretically beat in paper. But as I said, the Raiders have this type of reputation where they may come out and play really good against a good football team when they have their backs against the wall, when everybody is predicting the other team to beat us. A lot of times we may even win that game and they'll give the fan base, they'll give people like me and you a little bit of hope like, damn, this team could possibly make some things happen down the road. And then, like I said, you play a team that you should beat and they get absolutely exposed and that is exactly what happened today in this game not only did the Raiders lose they got absolutely dominated like I said I gotta put the blame on the offense and this defense as well you cannot tell me this defense did good when the 32nd ranked overall offense in the National Football League puts 36 points on the board and some of the biggest issues for the Raiders fundamentally stem from the fact that we have some big issues on this football team on both sides of the football. And the most concerning thing to me with this football team is we first cannot run the football at all. Coming into this game, we were the 32nd ranked rushing attack. And that's definitely going to stay like that. The Raiders were only able to run the ball 16 times for 55 yards. That's absolutely pathetic. This offensive line still seems to struggle to open up anything in the run game. Samir White is an unproven running back and he's not looking great at all. He has questionable vision. He can't break any tackles. He seems a little bit slow to get to the line of scrimmage. So that's one of the biggest issues. We can't run the football at all. And another big issue is we cannot stop the run. And these are two very concerning things because if you're weak in the interior of a football team inside the trenches, which the Raiders currently are and not being able to run the football and not being able to stop the football, Fundamentally, you're not a well team. It's going to be hard for you to consistently win football games if you cannot be at least respectable in this category. And look, for this defense, I gave them the benefit of the doubt. I came into this game saying, you know what? The Chargers were ranked one of the best teams 
in terms of running the football. Same with the Ravens. They have Lamar Jackson. They have Derrick Henry. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe just the first two weeks, they were going against elite units running the football, and that's why we were getting up so much yards. This game was the perfect opportunity to change that narrative and be able to stop the run, get some more confidence in this department, but that did not happen for the Raiders. The Carolina Panthers ran for 131 yards. Chuba Hubbard ran for 114 yards himself. And just consistently, the Panthers were able to get good yards on first and second down. They very rarely got into third and long situations or just had negative plays in general. The pass rush was non-existent for the Raiders. Max Crosby came into this game with some type of ankle injury and he really didn't look like himself out there at all. And that was a big problem for us because so far in the defensive line, we are super reliant on Max Crosby to generate any type of pressure and creating havoc in the backfield. And with the loss of Malcolm Coons for the season, I'm not feeling great about the opposite side of Max Crosby with Janarius Robinson, Charles Snowden, and Tyree Wilson. And I think you definitely saw today, nobody was able to create pressure up front. We weren't able to run the football effectively, and the secondary was getting absolutely torched all game long. Was it just me or did I notice that Deontay Johnson was absolutely killing us across the middle with those slants, with those drag routes? It just seemed like they kept running those over and over. He would get yards after the catch. And for whatever reason, the Raiders weren't able to stop it at all. So overall, Raider Nation, super disappointing performance from the Raiders. But I think this is a legit reality check for this football team. We felt really good about the win last week. We felt like maybe this team could potentially contend to make the playoffs, but the way this team is looking, they play towards the level of their competition and they seem like a very inconsistent unit as a whole. If you need outside narratives in national media, if you need to be the clear underdog to be motivated, to play good as a football team, then you're not a legit team in my opinion. Now, unfortunately for the Raiders, we do have a lot of talent on this team still. So we're in a weird spot where we're not gonna be a terrible football team. We're not gonna be in the top three of the draft next season. But I also doubt that we're gonna be a team that's gonna make the playoffs and ultimately win a playoff game, be a legit contender. So we're kinda in that middle ground where we're not a terrible football team and we're not a great football team. I think this is what you're gonna see from this football team more times than not. They're gonna be inconsistent. One week they're gonna look really good. And the next week you might look at this and be like, man, this team is so incompetent. The Raiders still have big issues. We can't run the football. We can't stop the run. We have quarterback issues. Our quarterback is inconsistent. And just in general, we have a lot of question marks with the offense. So it's not looking good for the Raiders at all. And like I said, this game was a legit reality check for me, but Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider related content just like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, I will see you guys in the next one.